My name is Kumail Joshi. Um, I'll be interviewing you guys one by one, as well as together for your book, Miraki. So, Alicia, since I see you first uh, on my screen, um, tell me why you wanted to take part in Meraki and your journey. I feel like writing Meraki was, you know, it was an experience. It was like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And it's, you know, it's like a milestone where you've done so many things, you've written poetry before. So I just wanted to, you know, share that I have. And, you know, like there's a physical book. You can actually have people going around saying, oh my God, I wrote a book. But again, you know, writing a book is again like a really hard process just to do it alone. So, um, which is why we all did it as a team. And I think it was a learning point where, you know, we've learned through the whole process. We learned how to do things because without writing a book, you wouldn't know the whole process, right? You wouldn't know that how many, how much time it would take. We initially thought that it would take about, you know, four to five months. It took us around a year, less than a year. Mm-hmm. So it was a nice process. Yeah. Okay. Harshita, um, why did you think of Meraki? Like, what came to your mind with this theme? Tell us a bit more about this theme. So the theme of the book is basically, um, it's just five teenagers writing about what they have experienced, what they have learned from life. We have not lived very long. We're just like 15 to 17 years old. Mm. Um, But teenage uh, life is just different and we wanted to document it. And now everybody in the world can read that and I hope that they can relate or they can understand more. Okay. That sounds so fascinating because as a teenager, I can obviously, I'm not a teenager anymore, but um, I can obviously relate to that because we've all been there or will be there soon. Um, that sounds interesting and I really hope that everyone can relate to this book because at some point, somewhere along the line, people would be a teenager, right? Yeah. So, um, Adita, is that how you say it? Oh, I'm really bad with names. Adita. Okay, tell us about your experience and why you chose Meraki. Well, so um, I'm a fairly new writer um, compared to uh, my co-authors and Meraki has, is like a really good experience for me and you know, uh, you will, because we had to write so many pieces individually, you always try to step out of your comfort zone and try different styles and so it was a really nice way to challenge myself and improve my writing. So. Mm-hmm. Meraki was definitely a great opportunity and I was really happy when um, we all actually went through with it because we were all a bit scared at, uh, at first mm-hmm. thinking we won't finish it but we did and then it was I mean it's now an actual book available so that's a huge thing. That's true. That's an actual book in the market that's doing really well to be honest and I can't wait to get my hands on the actual copy as soon as I can. I might order it for Christmas since Christmas is all around the corner, who knows. Um, okay, so Devita, um, tell us about your experience. So I think I would I think we would all agree on the fact that experience has been hectic, frustrating, but also it's it's been great. Um, we went through so many slogs, we <laughs> Sorry, we went through so many slumps. We, mm-hmm. you know, every all of us, since it was a joint effort, we had to make sure that not every everyone was at the same pace, was moving mm-hmm. at the same pace. But that, that's not I've, an ideal situation would be that. But there were times where a few people felt like you know that they weren't doing good enough. So we were we were giving each other advice all the time. We were trying to point out the uh, places which would which which we, which we thought could uh, could be improved on. So like. It's one. It's my first uh, publication, and I think I think I'm still really young. I mean, of course I am, but it's it's a milestone and it's a starting point uh, from which I can build further my um, all my my writing journey. Mm-hmm. So I think it's a good 
uh, experience because it's from here is where I can further like branch out and try new things and perhaps do something of my own. So yeah. Wow. Well, firstly, congratulations since it's your first publication that you've said you've done, which is a milestone on its own and it's nerve wracking. I can imagine. Um, so congratulations, all of you guys, for that. Thank you. It's, it's not it's no easy job, and um, to be with a group, you guys have to be on the same page. Otherwise, it won't work successfully. So teamwork makes the dream work, right? So, Shreya, um, on to you. How was your journey, and why did you choose Meraki? Um. Honestly, uh, I think all of us can agree that uh, Meraki was a personal achievement for all of us. Because maybe in future, when I look back to this, obviously I will. I'll read whatever I wrote in this book and I'll cringe. Like, what the hell was I thinking about writing this? Or how how did I have the confidence to post this or whatever? But uh, I think that um, when in future I look back to this, I'm going to be proud of myself. Because yes, I did this. I did this on my own, and I've always wanted to write a book. I, I never really thought I would do it. So, having done it at such an early stage in my life, it, it means a lot to me personally. And um, I think whenever, uh, whenever, if ever I'm feeling uninspired, I, I'll always have this book in my hand to just like look back to. Like yes, I could write an entire book. So I can do this also. It's just it's just one of those few achievements that I look back to, and I think that okay, I'm not completely worthless. I've done something in this life. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So um, I don't want to ruin. I don't want you guys to give me spoilers or anything in that search. But what is your favorite part of Meraki? Like one by one, like small snippets if I can. Alicia. Like our favorite piece, or like our favorite part of the process? Uh, any, either. Okay, so I mean, pieces. I personally wouldn't have one favorite because obviously there are like so many. But I think Shreya did a really good job. Harshita did a really good. Job. Everyone did a good job, you know. Like I mm-hmm. can't pick one. But um, personally, I feel like everyone inspired me to write my poems as well. So it's not like. It's not like one poem is very different than another because we've picked up things. We've learned, like you know, how to write from each other. But personally, I, I don't think I could ever pick one. Like I genuinely could not. You can't. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good though. <laughs> you've said all. You've said they've all inspired you, which is a good thing because. Yeah, um, because every- we. Yeah. We all had very different writing styles. So um, initially, Harshita had started a blog through which we had all met, and because of that, I think you know, like everyone had such different styles. Where if you start to incorporate someone else's style in your piece, and you know, you're just pushing your boundaries, you're pushing your limits, and you're going to that part where like you're becoming a better version of yourself because you're working with these people who are also pushing you to become a better mm-hmm. version. So I think that played like a very important role, you know. Like if I had done this myself, it would have been a very monotonous Ooh. book because they would have like you know it would have very Alicia poems. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. I like how so, you put that though. That was really nice. Yeah. Well. Ashita, um, tell me about a moment in the book that you thought that I really liked and why. Like, is there a piece that really relates to you? Well, uh, if it's about relatability, it would definitely be my pieces which would be most relatable to me. But I feel like when I've uh, read my co-author's pieces, I felt like, wow, this is insane. I should be able to match up to these standards. So I've tried my best to do that. But otherwise, when it comes to the journey, I feel like. Um, I have learned a whole lot more about teamwork and coordination because there have been times that we've all been frustrated with each other, and that's what a team is. You have to learn to get past that, mm-hmm. and that's that's what makes you uh, coordinate properly. I think oh, yeah. teamwork is the hugest um, takeaway from this. 
Hmm. That is actually so true. Um, teamwork can be as it sounds easy, like oh, we'll do it as a team, but it actually takes a lot of hard work, effort, and everything. And you guys have to be able to understand one another to be able to make it a dream work kind of thing. So, Advita, um, tell me about a pe- like a process which you were like, okay, I want to give up, or that, or something that inspired you. Um, so for this one, the giving up, we we were done with our manuscript, I think long back in June. Uh, and then after that, we stretched the process so much. Like it was it was so frustrating to all of us actually. It wasn't a specific person's fault. We just had so many things to change. And then like we keep uh, kept changing our minds about things or pieces and like I want to change this. No, I want to change that. And then we had so many different um, so versions of the manuscript after the publishing house also um, goes through it. Okay. So that was a really long period of time because we were done with the manuscript, but we still had a lot of things we wanted to edit out and change. So I mean, it's part of the process. You change your mind because it was such a long span of um, time that you you know you change yourself. So when you read that back, you just think, okay, no, maybe I don't want this here. I, I, I'm a different person now, so I want to uh, set something else in that book that I relate to. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, favorite and for favorite part, I think it was writing. I mean, it gets very tiring at one point, but then it's what we wrote the book for, right? Yeah. To express ourselves, yeah. to write. And I, I, I really like that part of uh, when we were just throwing in pieces uh, in the manuscript, and we we played around with them and changed them a little bit here and there because it was all new and you got to read other people's pieces, so oh, yeah. it was very yeah. nice. Okay. You need to tell me about um, again the same question, but tell me how um, if it was you that was doing the book on its own, how would the process be compared to how it would be now since you've done it as a group? Sorry, could you, I didn't get your question, could you if you were to, Yeah, sure. If you were to do it solo versus you doing it with a group like you have, which one would you prefer and which one would you have done? I think um, for me to do something solo, uh, the, the 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 fact that we wrote Meraki was not expected at all. Actually, it was uh, Harshita who texted, who joined, who made me join the group, the publishing group that we're on, and it, it has all our all us, all of us. Uh, I think I wouldn't have published anything at all if it wasn't for the fact that we were in the same blog and uh, Harshita contacted Ink Feathers, and so. But so I think that I would write something solo now. Now that I have gotten you know, a, a chance already. Uh, and there are many aspects that would be different uh, if you're comparing solo and a group work, because a group work needs somebody who takes initiative. Um, a lot of people tend to be relaxed and just sit back and let other people do the work. Mm-hmm. And that's, it's, it's very easy to fall into that category you know, when you're in a group. But, so I think working in a group is tough in that way. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, being solo, you don't have anybody to uh, who, who's gone through the, who's going through the same experience as you in that given moment. And so, for uh, like giving up is really easy. Um, so I think both have their pros and cons. Mm. But and there's not one I would choose. But I think going solo right now would be um, honestly a good a good opportunity for me. Mm-hmm. Now that, I've, now that I have experience from working as a group and also publishing my first book, so yeah. Uh, okay, thank you. Shreya, um, got my question. <laughs> Shreya, um, what inspired you to write to, be, to, be, to begin with? And tell us a bit about that. What inspired me to write, sorry, what? What inspired you to start writing in the first place? Okay. Um, I don't really remember any specific, um, I've been writing since fourth grade 
I think I I read like a really good book or something. And then I thought and then I didn't like the ending of the book, so I thought I'll come up with an alternative one. And then I did. And uh, then I gave it to my friends to read and uh, they were like it's actually not that bad. I think you could, you know, write your own thing and see how it ends up. And I said, uh, yeah, you know what? You have a point. And I think that's how I began writing. And um, after that, after that, I just realized that okay, maybe this is something I really enjoy creating, something, documenting a memory, if you say. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's how I began writing in the first place. Yeah, so cool. I don't even remember why I didn't feel cool. So okay. Um, Anisha, I'm really curious to find out. You know how you both said that it started with you with your blog, and that's how you all met. So I used to write blogs, so before, um, which is why I want to ask this question: What was this blog about, and what was your initial thoughts as to when, obviously, when you were writing the blog compared to now that you've done a book with Smirati? Which one would you? Um, how would you compare the two and what are your initial thoughts because obviously you had created this group to work with so tell us a bit about that so the blog is called the wolfish words and i had started it uh, for to make a writer's community so uh, we would all publish our pieces on the site and we would link it to everybody else and we'd ask them to read it and for a while it was just like good work experience and I began I started it because um, to be very honest I was in a different blog before which I thought was not giving me enough attention that I deserved so I went ahead and made my own and all of this began and I'm so grateful to have met all of these people and now that I've written a book, I look back and I'm, while I'm doing this interview, it's just crazy how far we have come together. And I am i don't know what to say about all of this because it's a little bit shocking, but I'm just very happy and grateful to be at this point in my life. Wow, that sounds really nice. And it's a bittersweet moment, I'm sure. Um, so um, now that you work with inside of all of you, the whole of you, what are your thoughts with Inkpadda's company um, and would you be working with us in the future? If so, how? And what are your thoughts like going forward in the future? Well, uh, for starters, I'm, I'm sorry? No, I think, does anyone want to speak first? Oh, okay. Does anyone want to go? You can read. You can go ahead. Okay. Um, so for starters, I'm already like um, employed part-time by Feathers. I'm an anthology editor. I'm currently working on an anthology. Um, so that's a whole different path. But mm -hmm. yeah, if I wanted to publish a solo book, I would um, look to Feathers first. Like they would always be over there. And then I would, if I wanted to, look out to other avenues and see what happens. Yeah, okay. Anisha, what about you? Same question. I definitely think Ink Feathers did help us a lot through the process. Like, I'm pretty sure it would have been even lengthier if we went through, you know, like another company because many of them do wait until you submit the manuscript and then again they take like a really long time to, you know, go through it and then after a few months you get to know if you've been accepted or not. I feel Ink Feathers, because we were like, this was our first book together and I mean my first book obviously but I think in that way it was really helpful and I mean I have debated over the fact whether you know if I should ever publish a solo book and if that would be anytime soon it would be through Ink Feathers. I have also considered that maybe I don't want to keep writing and maybe I want to wait for a couple more years because you know, this was like our first experience. Now, maybe I want to put a little more work if I have to do something by myself, especially because writing, I think we did 12 pieces per person. Doing that took a year. Mm -hmm. If I had to do like a whole 100 poem work, that would take forever. Yeah. But I think this was, it was a good process. So I wouldn't 
I wouldn't regret anything with Incredibles. Like it was a good process. We're planning to do a, a meet and greet sort of a thing with one cafe, and that is also again doing feathers. So I feel they have helped us to that extent. So I'm pretty grateful for that. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think I think I'll add on to what Alicia said, mm-hmm. and um, I think they know what opportunity opportunities to give to what authors. Uh, like for example, we didn't even have. We only had uh, shipping in India, but they they realized that you know they they see a potential and they realized that you know what this would also be good for these young people and it's something it's a it will be a great opportunity for them to have shipping worldwide, and also like what Alicia said, we have a book cafe uh, reading. Mm-hmm. Uh, which which whose date has whose date has been decided but still it's a great opportunity so they look out for events to um, give out to authors to give them a platform and i think that's great so that's one aspect that i like about in feathers they got the way to um, to help these mm-hmm. so after the publishing stage what else how else can you market it they got the way to help you do that so yeah i really wish that the book um reading it it's a success and it goes smoothly and all the best for that and adrita what about your thoughts same question yeah uh, well in feathers has like um, all of my co-authors said they they've really helped us throughout the process like um given we're like first time authors like most of us i think uh they've been really supportive and you know like devita said they've given us uh, things they saw our potential and they knew how to work it around like with the book reading thing they they reached out to us and told us that you could do this and that i mean there's only so far we, we us five could go for you know how much we can advertise our book but they've really helped us like in supervision and giving us suggestions so it was definitely a very good process um there were some ups and downs here and there but that's just us also being very chaotic all the time but but all in all if i had to publish something of my own i would think of wing feathers first just because it's also what i'm very much comfortable with because i know it already it's not foreign mm nice Shreya, what about you? Um, for the time being, if I have to publish anything sooner or later, I would definitely go with Ink Feathers because, uh, like everybody said, they've been incredibly supportive. Um, considering the fact that we're first-time authors, uh, they've actually gone out of their way, uh, giving us worldwide shipping. Like we didn't even we didn't even expect that. It's just like you receive a mail one morning and you're like, why are they shipping everywhere? And I thought it's a mistake. I generally thought it's a mistake. And then I'm like, oh, is this a gift? Huh? Like they actually want to, you know, help help us out and stuff. So that felt really great. I think I don't think most people, most publishers would really go out of their way to help us like that. So that was that was a good feeling. Yeah, definitely. I would go with Inkfellows. Oh, okay. So just before I wrap up, because I know that I can see the time, um, I want like, would you guys want to give out individually where people can find you on social media or LinkedIn or something one by one? Alicia. So I have my Instagram written in the book. It's Alicia with. It's A L I S H A A A dot R A I R I, and that's on Instagram. And other than that, I'm pretty sure we're not on any other social media accounts. Okay, Rishi, for you. Um, you can find me as Ray underscore Zenith on Instagram. Okay, Adrita. Uh, you can find me as Adrita dot A on Instagram. I don't really have any other social. Okay. Uh, for the time being, my Instagram is not um, being very good about me using it. 
so i don't know i'm not able to uh, access my account but it's you can still follow it it's where june where um where j o o n where with mm-hmm. no spaces mm-hmm. okay yeah i'm only on instagram for the time being uh, my uh, username is shreya banerji and two underscores okay um so i just wrap up now then well it can be if i see you almost trying to bring guys um to end so this has been a conversation with miraki co-authors with myself kumar joshi on behalf of insider's family um uh, thank you ladies for such a lovely interview which you guys enjoyed and i personally can't wait to read the book and to receive my copy and get my hands on this because it sounds such a great read and something that we can all relate because like i said i've been a teenager myself i know how how it can be temperamental at times how chaotic it can be so um i cannot wait for my own copy and i've heard good things about miraki in the market and from everyone else it is really good and i really hope that it keeps on making success and that it keeps on reaching new heights and that i look forward to hearing about your future plans even more and hope it all goes out well bye bye thank you so much thank you for having me thank you